Hey guys, so we are in Naples. It's been quite a long journey, but we finally made it. We are actually outside the Duomo. So this is similar to the one in Milan, but it's like Naples version. We're just sitting down now, having a little break because our feet are hurting and we're looking for the next stop. So far, it's not what I expected it to be. It's a Sunday, most places are closed and I don't know, it's just a bit different to how I expected it. But we will be making our way to Pizzeria tonight, so I'm so excited about that. And obviously, I will be taking you guys along with me. Do you want cheese? Hands down, the best mozzarella I've ever had in my life. Yum. My first term is two of the holidays. Let's see how it is. The view from breakfast is so beautiful. So nice. Good morning guys. So we've just come to have some breakfast at the hotel and then head out and do all of like the historical stuff. So we're gonna go to Pompeii and also try to climb Mount Vesuvius, which I'm excited for. So it should be a good day. Now on our way to the mountain. Why do I keep calling it a mountain? It's a volcano, which is a lot more dangerous than a mountain. But we're making our way out there. It's a little bit cloudier than we would have hoped for it to be. Hopefully we still get to see like the beautiful views up there as well. So we've started a hike. I'm already breathless. But I've done this in Austria, I can do it again. Wow. That is just incredible. in the middle of the cloud. What do you think? It looks quite nice. So we just finished walking up Mount Vesuvius. It was quite fun. The only thing is it was quite cloudy so we didn't get to see the view as well as we wanted to but it started to clear up as we were leaving so it was still really really nice. I was absolutely freezing at the top though. And now we're gonna look for somewhere to eat possibly, I hope. Yeah, mate. Yeah. And then we're gonna go to Pompeii and look at all of the ruins. We ordered a starter to share, not for me, for me. And it's massive, so much. So we've finally made it to Pompeii. This is literally like my childhood coming to life. I've been so excited to come here. I've wanted to come for a very, very long time. And we're just at the entrance now, but it looks quite cool. Like it's preserved really, really well at the minute. Right, so we're now leaving our first hotel and we're going to be heading off to our second hotel. But first, we are going to go and get lunch at the best pizzeria in Naples. And I'm so excited about that. Starter. That is massive. 
and I got fried mozzarella. We now arrived at our second hotel. We actually arrived yesterday, but I think we were still a bit tired from traveling and everything and we just spent a few hours in the room. I was catching up on emails and doing a bit of work. And then we went out for dinner. We went to the nearest town, which is Salerno. I had some gnocchi, it was really, really nice. And then we had ice cream, of course. What flavors did I go for? We had chocolate, coffee, and stracciatelli, I think. Really, really good. Oh my God, all three of them. And the flavor combination was amazing. So good. Anyway, this morning we woke up and had breakfast and we've just been walking around the hotel and it's just so beautiful, like the scenery. It's just insane. And I think we're gonna go back into town later today. I wanna buy some buffalo mozzarella and bring that home because I'm like in love with it at the minute. Maybe some Parmesan as well, cause tomorrow we are off to the Amalfi Coast and I'm so excited about that. I thought we would come and stay in this particular hotel for two nights because it's a lot more tranquil and there's not much to do so the first two days were like so intense in Naples lots to see so lots of running around lots of walking and I thought we'd need two days to relax and just chill out a little bit no plans whatsoever just take the day as it is and then the last two days are going to be crazy busy again in the Amalfi Coast because there's so much I want to see I want to go to Positano and unfortunately we're not going to have time to go to Capri this time but that just means I have to come back another time, which I will not be complaining about. Really, really relaxing and Italy is just my favorite place in the world, honestly. It's such a large country and there's so much beauty in the food and the people. I just absolutely love it and I would love to learn more Italian. I know the odd words and stuff. I just really would love to learn the language completely, but I know it's a lot of hard work. But I just want to be able to speak it and understand it because I, I just want to spend, I want to come to Italy at least once a year to spend a week here. I, ju I just love it so much. It brings a got another ice cream. I always get more than him and he doesn't like it. I went for lemon and I can't remember, mascarpone and walnut. And Kinder Bueno. <laughs> I don't know if this pizza is going to be as good as the one yesterday, but we will see. My favourite thing to eat bread with olive oil, oregano, and some cheese. I've also got a coffee for the breakfast and some pastry stuff as well. So we're now finished in Salerno and we're going to make our way to the Amalfi Coast. I'm so excited. We're driving there now and the roads are already really, really bendy and we've got a beautiful sea view as well. It's, it's just so beautiful. So we've just parked up because we've just spotted beautiful scenery. <gasps> Look how beautiful. <laughs> Hotel Santa Catarina and our room is incredible. Oh, it's just so beautiful. So we come in and we've got like a seating area here and like a desk and stuff. And then the bed is here, lovely bed. And then I'll take you into the bathroom, which is very, very Italian. So we've got that, we've got a bathtub. We've also got a shower and then that and every single hotel we've been at has got b-day i have not seen b-day in a very very long time but the best thing come on guys look at this flooring as well so pretty is the view 
we've got our own little seating area well sun loungers seating area and the view oh my god look at it is this not the most beautiful thing ever oh my god got a lovely little fruit platter and some little sweet treats as well thanks hotel santa catarina <laughs> We're gonna go off to the pool now. They've got a salt water pool here, which I always love that. So we're gonna go, and there's also the sea there as well. Can you stop eating? Can we go? This is just perfection right now. Olives, crisps, pina colada, strawberry daiquiri, and a beautiful view. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. The sun started to set behind the mountains, but it's just got this beautiful glow. This place is just insane. some so this is my starter I'm not a fan of tomatoes but I'm gonna try them because they look and smell really really good okay. yes perfect thank you So much pasta and pizza lately. This is going to be a nice change for us. Just come back to our room and they've given us a lovely turn down service. I love when hotels do this. It just makes it feel so much cosier. So thoughtful. Like we've got slippers and this little rug so in the morning our feet don't get cold. Chocolates, water beside our bed. It's just such a lovely thought. We're just on our way to go to the famous beach in Positano and our car has obviously been in the car park overnight and what are they called? Valet, that's it. The valet parkers have brought a car for us and they also put a bottle of water each for us. Like, the things that this hotel think about are so nice. They're so thoughtful. Every little detail is thought out and they're just all so friendly here, honestly. And they really make me feel like such a lady. They pull my chair out for me. They don't let me carry my food at breakfast. It's just so cute. <laughs> the roads are so tight that this is why there's traffic. The big buses try to get past and they struggle. later I was so breathless 
And we're not even anywhere near a quarter of the way back to the car. Wow. Be prepared, guys. Be prepared for the stairs. Someone's upset with me because we went the wrong way because of me. And we've just had to walk up these stairs for the second time. So he's not very happy. They've shut it down because of the rocks falling, but we've stopped just to take a little look at it. Absolutely stunning. When your eyes won't stop looking at me And the words that you said last night They will echo through my mind Said they will echo through my mind I can't breathe, I can't hear, I can't see When your eyes won't stop looking at me the scenery for one last time I'm so sad to be leaving tomorrow <laughs> Stop! We have <laughs> we've just had our last dinner at Santa Catarina. It was lovely. It was a Neapolitan style meal, dinner, menu thing. Really nice. We were by the sea. You could hear the sea gushing by. We've now come back to the room and we have to pack because we are leaving tomorrow and I'm so sad to be leaving. Someone's tap dancing in my room. <laughs> I'm so sad to be leaving because this hotel is just so incredible, honestly. We've had the absolute best time here. Everything is just 10 out of 10, literally. I think I said this last night as well, like the staff are just so friendly. Everyone says hello to you. And like I said as well, they just make me feel like such a lady. And also what we noticed, which we find quite strange actually, is that all the menus that I receive have no price in them, but all the menus that he receive have all the prices. So technically, I get to order whatever I want. And you know, the guy has to foot the bill apparently. But yeah, no, it's just very traditional, I guess here. And in that sense, but we've just had a lovely time. It's been super relaxing. You got any words to say? Right. <laughs> we've both had a really, really nice time. It's, it's just such a beautiful hotel. And I wish one day I can come back here again because it's just been so lovely. Um, I'm just going to finish and just grab me something to eat and get out. I feel like all these runners holidays are going to eat once a while. You know, when it is good, when it's not in front of us, we're just going to eat something and then get on the plane and head back. We had a great time in April, Salerno and Malcolm Coast. I hope you guys had a good time watching our journey. And if you have enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.